Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students today I am going to solve something which is different you know this is not something which I have already done on the channel. So here I am trying to solve pre UPSC previous papers okay and if you want me to solve more of these then please let me know so in the comment section I will definitely try to put up these kind of videos or uh, not only UPSC for bank POs for railways and all of that at least once a week okay so if you want this to happen then please 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 put a yes in the comment section i will definitely try to work on it more often okay so now here the question was consider there's a symbol which is a dot plus one then there's a dot then plus two then there's a dot plus three then there's a dot plus sorry plus dot plus then there's a three plus dot then there's a one is equal to two one and then two to one and then there is a dot okay in the entire above equation you need to find out what does this dot stand for okay this question was asked in csat 2018 okay and very similar question was asked in 2020 that is why i have picked up this kind of a question okay so now please understand just for your uh, basic understanding how are we going to solve this kind of a question See, if we have, um, let's say I have a number which is 226. So, 26 is actually written as 20 plus 6. Means, the number which is coming on tens place will get multiplied by 10. The number which comes on the units place will get multiplied by 1. So, here let's try to break this entire thing in this kind of a form. Okay, why I have taken only two digit because everything in your left hand side is having only two digit. Okay, so your dot is only one number. So we will just write this as dot plus one and then there is a dot. So meaning one is on which place? Tens place. So one will get multiplied by 10 which will get you 10 plus the dot will remain as it is because it is on the units place. Similarly, two will get multiplied by 20. So we will get 20 plus dot plus now understand this dot is on the tens place so we'll get 10 into dot 10 dot plus 3 plus again 10 dot plus 1 okay and this is equal to 200 plus 10 plus a dot okay now if you feel that there is a lot of confusion let's write uh, instead of dot let's consider this as x so we have 1 i'll just write this down quickly is equals to 210 plus x okay so now understand we have how many x is 1 2 3 and then we have 10 x so that is 13 x plus 10 x which is going to get you 23 x okay so we have 23 x plus 10 plus 20 which is 30 plus 3 plus 1 which is 34 okay is equals to 210 plus x so let's shift the x on this side and the numbers on this side so we have 22 x is equals to 210 when you subtract 34 from 210 we get 176 so x is equals to 176 divided by 22 both of them go in 11 stable so 1s are 6s are 1s are and 8s are your final answer is 8 okay students see while explaining it takes a lot of time okay but trust me while explaining also i took like two minutes to explain this entire sum okay but you understand when you solve these kind of sums like you know three four times if you solve you get the hang of it and you can do really really quickly these kind of sums okay so now let's use the same logic and see what we can do for this one okay so here now instead of writing this symbol as it is let's write it as x it's very easy that way so one x plus 10 plus x plus 50 plus x plus 10x plus x plus 10x plus 1 okay this is equal to 100 plus 10x plus x now understand students see when you have same number or same same things depend represented on either side of the equal to okay and we are having the same signs meaning 10x and 10x can get directly cancelled 
this x and this x also can get cancelled. So we are left with 1x, 2x, 3x and 10x. So we have 13x over here and this is what um, we are having over here. 10 plus 50 is 60 and 1. So we have 61 and 100. When you take 61 away from 100, you are left with 39. So x is nothing but what? 39 divided by 13 is equal to 3. So you saw, you could actually solve this sum in 1 minute. Okay. It, actually not even 1 minute. It depends on your calculation speed. Okay. So for this, I always tell all my students that please, please, please increase your calculation speed because this is where one area where you can beat others okay and you can save a lot of time students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos now very quickly see few more questions so the question is what is the least four digit number which when divided by three four five and six leaves a remainder of two students this kind of a question has been asked in almost all these entrances and trust me the trick to do, do these kind of questions is just find out the LCM of all these numbers. So we'll try to find out LCM of 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so we'll do first 2 za. So we left with 3, 2, 5 and 3. Then again 2 za. So we are left with 3, 1, 5 and 3. Then we have 3 and then we have 5. So 3 into 5 is how much? 15 into 2 is 30 into 2 is 60. So I know that my LCM is 60. So we need to find a number which when divided by 60 gets you the remainder 2. So now understand instead of just getting complicated, why don't we divide each of these options by 2? Uh, sorry, subtract all of these options by 2. When you subtract this, you are left with 1010. This is 1020. This is 1120. This is 1220. Okay. Now all you have to do is divide each of them by 60. Now if you look closely, all of them can be divided by what? 60 can be written as what? 6 into 10. So we don't need to check for the divisibility rule of 10 because all of these have a last digit which is 0. So all you need to check is for divisibility rule of 6. Now what is the divisibility rule of 6? It has to be an even number which all of them are and all the digits adding should be divided by 3. Because any number which is divided by 2 and 3, that number will be completely divisible by 6. So, <clears throat> the divisibility rule of 3 will check for all of them. This is not because 1 plus 1 will get you 2. 2 is not divisible by 3. 1 plus 2 is going to get you how much? 3 and that is divisible by 3. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is getting you 4. That is not divisible by 3. 1 plus 2 plus 2 which is 5. That is also not divisible by 3. So, option B is your correct answer. Okay, see, understand, you could have eventually taken all of this or you could have simply taken 60 stable and multiplied by 15, you would have gotten something as 900. So then you add what 120 to it, so you get 1020. And so 1020, if you add 2 to it, you will get 1022. That is also another option. But not everyone will uh, remember that 60 into 15 will get you 900. Okay, so that is why... This is something which can happen to people if they are very good at tables. If you are not, still you can, I am saying, you still you can do really well in all of these entrances. Do not panic. Just use your basic understanding and do it. Okay. So that's it for now. I will very soon see you in the next video. Bye.